There he is. Go after the deer! <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Q-Man. Good morning, Q-Man. <laughs> you seem happy this morning. Oh, I'm pretty happy this morning. Oh yeah, why? What's new? Uh, might, have, might have picked up a new toy. New <laughs> toy in the trailer. Yeah. Maybe I. Uh, <laughs> maybe I picked up uh, Charlie. <laughs> maybe I picked up a new uh, a new winter. Touring machine. Oh, well, Charlie seems uh, impressed. Excited, yeah. <laughs> Look at this! Yeah. It's got our window in the back. It's a fully loaded. Holy shit, dude! It's like a car. 2020. Oh yeah. Oh, those are interesting tires on this thing too. I don't like them. They're small but wide. 27s, but they're kind of while the rear is wide, the fronts are not. Oh, okay. It's an offset wheel pattern. Yeah, so you need taller. Yeah. But I probably have to put a little lift in it to make it taller. I don't know. Have to see. So yeah. for the snow is coming. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. <laughs> like the Game of Thrones. Winter is coming. But she fits, it's it's a big fit. A crew cab. 2020 Polaris Ranger North Star Crew Cab in the camo edition. Oh yeah. Look so at this cab. Four six seater in total. Six essentially. seater. Four door crew cab. Holy with full shit. HVAC. It's got air conditioning, heat, fully finished interior, full roll down windows, just like a car. Oh wow. Dude. Which is super cool. Finished interior panels. It's pretty sick. It's, it's, almost, pretty wild. it's almost worth living through a winter. Almost worth living through a winter. <laughs> in, a, in an RV. Except I still get to uh, leave. Oh, it's got a rear view mirror. The other one didn't have a mirror. Are you gonna get? Are you gonna go ICBC and get insured for the street? Yeah, it's still here. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice if you could? That'd be awesome. Wow, look at that cab. Snow adventures are gonna be so good. So that's it. It's so big, the interior. It's so awesome. 6,000 pound, 6,000 pound rapid recovery winch with synthetic rope. Nice big, like three eighths thick, maybe half inch thick rope. Wow, this is way better than the bumper you had on the came, other one, huh? This came factory. The, yeah. The bumper is factory. You can smash some trees. The only and thing that's been added to this is the winch. That's the only thing I added. Like Just a so factory, I have for my snow a factory option. Yeah, but this is a full, full factory North Star edition. Okay, I know, right? Hey, <laughs> the machine is oh, yeah, so big. Like Unbelievable. Yeah. What the hell? Man, Charlie is excited. Yeah. But this one's nice because the windows actually roll all the way down. Oh, it's wide open, right? The other one just had a little vent that opened up. Yeah. These ones fully rolled down. It's got fully finished interior oh, yeah. panels. That's right. We had little vents going yeah. last time. Now, the windshield doesn't flip up like the other one. It's a fixed windshield. No shooting through the windshield. But it's got a lot more... <laughs> yeah, uh, no shooting near the windshield. No, much more... I think it'd be warmer. More, and I think it'd be better sealed. Uh, I mean, it's still removable. You can just pull these four things and remove it if you want to. But with the rope? yeah, synthetic. All the all the winches you want with synthetic rope. Really? Yeah, because that way they don't fray and they don't hurt your hands when you're using them. And if they do snap, they don't come flying back. They just well, drop to the not gonna take your head off. Yeah. So we got yeah, all my have yeah. little glove. There's two glove boxes. Yeah, you got glove box above. How there. does this one open? Is there a handle? Yeah, I think it just lifts up. I think it's just friction fit. Yeah. Okay, so that's where we can put. Uh, the phones. Yeah, now this was supposed to come, it was supposed to come with the ride command and stereo, but it didn't, so they ordered it, and we're just waiting on the mount kit for here. So we'll have the big seven inch ride command 
with the speakers that go up here and speakers in the rear. Awesome. Yeah, so, some music would be great instead of our little uh, jukebox. Yeah, you can pull the doors up. Yeah, well, you gotta pull the bolt out and then you gotta pull this off. Honeywell. Off. Wow. The so roof, the too. It's, fully it, finished roof. it's like my inside of the camper roof. Yeah. It's like a boat. It's got the it's marine fully, roof. It's fully finished back wall. It's all foam um, sealed. It's got cup holders in the back. Three seaters. Six, six seater now, so. Oh, my. Look, you got a freaking. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah, you got a power port out there? You got a power port for, well, a DC. I don't know if there's USB, probably not. No, just, just 12. I don't, they they got to start doing the USB soon. But, but oh, yeah, you can I just, usually just add one in there. Yeah. yeah. And then you got vents for the window. Yeah, full heat, full heat, full air conditioning. Bam, bam. Wireless remote control. For and so you the, got uh, windshield winch. wipers and stuff. Yeah, windshield wash, windshield wiper. What am I missing here? Throttle, brake, yeah. Hmm. Controls on the shifter for the uh, plow. Up and down, left and right, those orange buttons. And then you're on the shoe. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, the plow operation. Side windows now, not your. Yeah, well, windows. never really shot out the front window, anyways, but. No, we. we the doors are like, the doors are heavy and solid. Like, they, yeah. I mean, my old ones are kind of nice because it had the full, full view all the way to the ground, but these are a much more solid door. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get something on there. Yeah. What's they got for a skid plate? Yeah. Look at the door, it goes way back. Yeah, it opens right up, which is nice. That so is awesome. Access. Yeah, way easy access. A nice full tilt uh, box. Oh, nice. I mean, the other one had tilt box, but this handle's in a better spot. The other one was underneath, and it would always get hit with mud, so this one's a little bit better protected. The 1000cc motor, just like in the uh, RS1. Yeah, the, the non turbo version. Yeah, non turbo yeah. version, yeah. Wow, so clean. Nice and quiet running. I might have to go buy something new today too. Yeah, you should. <laughs> I agree. Well, I just emailed KTM. Yeah. We'll see what see if I can get them involved. Yeah. Man. So great. It's such a just like a vehicle, man. If we were just in Washington. Like a truck. If we were so in cool. Washington, you could drive this on the street to go get Brecky. 81 horsepower or 82 horsepower. <laughs> it only weighs. Uh, around 20, 2200 almost. It's like the Miata. Yeah. But it does stuff. And you got a hitch. Look, he's just dragging the hitch in the middle. <laughs> Lights might be decent. But first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it in, I'm gonna pull these tires off, and I'm gonna put some other tires on. Oh, what, you wanna see something cool? Yeah, of course. With the new upgrade? I'll show you something cool. Check this out. This is Polaris's new pulse bar system. So you just buy a harness from Polaris. So if you wanna do a light accessory or whatever, you pull the cap off, oh, you plug, plug the harness in, it comes with all the relays that it needs. Wow. Already built in and comes with a switch. And it's all pre-wired to fit to the dash and all through the stuff. It's just extra. What the hell yes, is Yes, so this is the new um, air intake. Instead of, remember on the, around the sides before? Yeah. And the snow would build up on it's them? It's so small. It's so funny. The yeah. filter. But I, I think this is the clutch. I think this is the clutch side. The motor's way back there. You'd think it'd be closer. Yeah. Yeah, and the lighting. The lighting might be pretty good if they're reflective in there. Yeah, I think you the know, lighting's going to be okay. You could put some LEDs if you had to. Or... I'm going to put that 54-inch curved light bar, that radio well, one. That too, yeah. That's going to be pretty cool. What about the roof? What's the story on that before we leave? Well, that's just a fully 
finished roof for Polaris factory roof. Yeah, cool. Anyways, guys, my name is Marcel Ernie. Thanks for checking out the YouTube channel. This is Q Man of Full Circle Adventures on the new snow machine. On the new Tank Life 2.0. Tank Life 2.0, that's right. Check out Tank Life on my YouTube channel. There's a bunch of stuff on patreon.com forward slash Ernie Racing. That's where Tank Life might be right now. There he comes. We're out in the Okanagan Valley here having an awesome uh, little snow track. And I brought my flare gun. And I've never used it before, never tried it, but we're gonna see how um, how much I, essentially can it go through a piece of wood. You missed. It you hit the high. can, it shoots high. <laughs> <laughs> how many shots do you have? I don't want to use them all, but yeah, I got some more. Whoa, look at the can. You put a big hole in the can. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I don't think I'd want to get shot with that. Dude. No, you would not want to get shot with that. Okay, and we're back. <laughs> shot number two. Yeah, there's one. <laughs> we're gonna go through the wood. Hopefully, Hopefully yes. We'll see. Oh yeah, this is gonna be Check out again. your aim, let's do this. Nice! Cool. Come closer. <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> yeah, so right in the center of the target this time. When I'm boondocking out in, with my RV, don't come a knocking. <laughs> it's, it's awesome out here. <laughs> it's not too cold, right? It's nice. Whoa! Don't fall out. Okay guys, so we're gonna show you the damage here. Literally almost blew through. Wow, that is thick wood. Yeah. <sighs> That's awesome. And then of course the can. That's sweet. <laughs> Check it out. Oh, you can see the whole lake, which is super sweet today. Yeah, there's the lake. Cheers! Burnout! All right, we're back with Q-Man. Hey, right. hey guys, what's going on? What? Time for our first mod. <laughs> Been home for about, what, 15 minutes? <laughs> you didn't even drive the old I tires. I haven't driven it yet. And it's time for a first mod. First mod is one inch wheel spacers and some brand new, well not brand new, but fairly new fuel rims and fuel gripper tires in a size 28. Yes, 28, 10, 14. So I'm hoping that I'm gonna be a little more ground clearance. I gotta cross my fingers that I don't rub because I don't have a lift on this thing, it's just factory. But I think it's going to be just fine. Oh, you know, I think I got I some EDC brake pads for this thing. Oh yeah, maybe? <laughs> yeah. That might work okay. It'll be take forever to wear those pads out though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll grab a little bit of blue Loctite. That's a green Loctite, which is even crazier. I've never heard of green Loctite. Green Loctite's for um, bearings, because it's not affected by the oils inside. Oh, uh oh, I'm out of blue Loctite. I'm gonna have to borrow some of your blue Loctite, buddy. Well, we gotta open up my uh, the bin. Yeah, I have to borrow some blue lock tape. I'm out. All right, let's do it. All right. Into right. the bin. Into the secure right bin. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we are. Blue lock tape. Ready. Bam. Sweet. Man, beautiful day. Yeah, I hope it. I hope it, the sun dries things out a little bit because 
I gotta mow my grass and it's <laughs> soaking wet. It keeps raining every night. Not just moto, guys. You gotta maintain the property. Yeah. So you can moto. So you can moto. Spacer in there. Whoa, Loctite rolling out. I'm gonna put too much in there. So there's room, but some rooms are flush all the way around and you can't use those spacers. You know, that's, that's what I had found anyways. That's what I had found. All right, let's see if she fits. I was about to mount these fuel, sweet fuel wheels, but because they're so tightly finished, my wrench doesn't fit inside the hole. So I'm gonna have to get some different, like some egg corn style, um, like different style, one. like what I run on. Not, not on this one, not on that one. Um, on which one do I run those? Here. Yeah, because they're all the same on that one too. Ones. Acorn ones on here. Oh, so it's super shell. Still, still 12 and a half mil. It's a 12 point. Yeah. How many threads do you get? Enough. Lots. Lots. There you go. She's hidden way in there. So you got this special little tool. See, it's not even like a normal socket. It's just built for these, for these style of nuts. So this is a 12 oh, by yeah. 1.5 heavy duty. Yeah, yeah, they're so lightweight. Yeah. Same thing my old man had on his little car. Yeah, same sort of deal, right? New. I didn't notice this initially. Um, yeah, so there's like a holy shit bar in the back, maybe, <laughs> along with some grab handles to get in. Um, notice they got the three-point harness in the center and in the center of the front, which is nice if you're going to rally it. And... Oh, never mind. It's not storage. It's just this weird plate right here. It's kind of weird, but it's it's a structural plate to hold the front seat. But you could put some bags in here. There could be totally like. I wonder if they make a uh, like a, a bag. Because it's it's a hollow space that's not being used. Yeah. Cup holders. Good feet room down here. Whoa! And the front right goes right through. Did you notice that? What, that's you can right. go right underneath the passenger seat on the. Right, look. Yes, on the driver's side, yes. Yeah, it's I right, didn't know that. right through. They designed that for like farmers yeah. and workers and stuff because a five gallon pail fits right underneath there apparently. Oh, you could put tons of, you could put food, a cooler could probably fit under there. Let's take a look, front passenger. Yeah. They also make a yeah. factory subwoofer that goes right there too. Oh yeah. So if you wanted to go that way. I wonder, let's see if your cooler fits there. No, the cooler is too tall to fit there for now. Different coolers. Oh, it's probably not the right. Okay, good time for a commercial break. I'm going to get back and do my emails. Q-Man's going to get all four tires on. And then we'll go for a little crawl around the farm. We're going to go uh, do the, the farm loop. Yeah. Farm loop. We'll get some mud on a brand new <laughs> ranger. Special closed course for timing later on to race all these machines. Private. Like the SSX blog guys with their course, but ours can be better. <laughs> Peace.
closest there? Yeah, right there. So I'd like to leave it in the softest position if I can. Oh, for sure. Especially just cruising. When you add the snow plow on, though, that would be the thing. Oh, yeah. Way you might down. need to add. Add a little bit. The weight of the snow plow might drag it down, but it might be okay. Yeah, I mean, you'll see rub marks if you start jumping around. We'll see. Yeah. You can see the difference here, right? The tires, the 28s compared to the 27s. I don't know. Those must not be a very true 27 or else it's a big 28. <laughs> you can see how high the tire's off the ground. This one here is pretty much just oh, yeah. almost on the ground. Way taller. It should only be a half inch difference. <laughs> Nah, the, the readings and the markings are never really a science. Oh, it's more right. just like, a, it's just a, it's like a range. It's like, this is an SAE 40 weight oil, which is a large range. Just roughly close to a 28 inch tire. Like the box is way bigger. Yeah, the box is a nice size. I really like how, how big the box is. These are very nice views. Modification complete. Fuel wheels and tires. They didn't fall off yet. Not yet. Now you just got to figure out how to work the safety, bud. This one's got it all wrapped around the. <laughs> uh, first, go. first issue. First issue. Trying to get the seatbelt. PDI issue. <laughs> there we go. I don't really like those metal things there, but that's okay. That's a weird change. Really got to give it a. Be just kind of partially into it and onto the pavement first. Oh, that's way quicker, dude! It's fast and quiet, it's smooth. I almost need a seatbelt, it's really smooth. Oh, dude, this is like a car. Go full crank steering here, let's see how it does. Oh, we'll see if we're rubbing or not, right? No rubbing so far, it's pretty good. Well, you can't hear it, but oh, yeah, it might make it. a mark, who knows. Really got to give it a push to get it up in the gear there. Wow, it rides really nice. It's a lot, it's smoother too. The other one was a lot rougher, I found. Oh, yeah, it's nice and soft. This one feels like nice and smooth. Oh, look, we got a cat. The crazy cat lady left one of her cats behind when we had to evict her from the corner of the property. <laughs> We had to call in the police, we had to call in the SPCA. Crazy cat lady. Yeah, we had to get rid of the crazy cat lady. Oh, I'm gonna scratch my buggy right now. Here goes the windows. <laughs> I gotta weave it back and forth. First scratch us. My Christmas trees are getting too big. Man, see, this will be the part of the race course, guys. But this will be like the entrance into the race course, if I had to guess. Oh, wow, they're really getting going down there. Oh, these grippers suck in the mud. Sliding all over the place. Hey, look at the piles of dirt they got Man. here. Holy cow. I haven't been down here in a while. Here's the jump. The jump coming this way. I should take this out a little bit there. Oh, this course is... Oh, my God. Look. They got a deer. Oh, nice buck. Oh, I should have my boat. There's the boat. Nice little two-point muley right there. The boat was not in the vehicle. No. Where'd he go? Right there, probably. I don't see him. He's gone. Up the hill right there. See him? Oh, hey, right, let me ah, let me try to get the bow. There he is. Go after the deer! <laughs> awesome. He's 
gone. No rubbing so far though. That's pretty good. That's a four-wheel drive. Full lock. Yeah, no, I don't see any rub unless that's just the tiniest bit. Ah, that's nah, just dirt. Man, yeah, that exhaust stinks right now. Oh, it smells so bad. So are the headlights on right now or are they off? I don't see. And then that? Now that has like a little bit of a light, yeah. And, that? and then that's high beam. That's high beam, yeah. <laughs> Turn the lights on again. Hey, in here? There's one, one or two in the two, back. Three, four, five, oh, man. Six, seven, eight, eight cup holders. There's one, two in the back. Yeah. Plus, you can make more in the. You could do more. Yeah. Nice. How many hours on the machine? Uh, looks like no SE odometer. Let's make sure we're all in, in check here. Service 1.3. It's their. Uh, That's their, must be their initial braking from period. the factory or something. Yeah. And there's uh, 3.9 kilometers, which we've done like t less than two probably. Yeah, half a kilometer. yeah, so they drive it for they run it and idle it and stuff. Yeah, they've got the clock set right. It was probably from the factory plus a little PDI. Yeah. Not enough to make the exhaust burn clean. They got a plastic cover. Are you in two-wheel drive? Give a little two-wheel peel. <laughs> oh, he's not taking the high bank yet. <laughs> we had a couple kilometers. I saw the deer. Yeah. Oh, it's manual. You don't have power windows. Power windows, but she's hand cranking. Well, you know, we got to get some exercise somehow. That's right. Most people won't even know what a hand crank is. You should hit the, on the way up here. You got one wheel in the air. It's cool. Oh, when I came up off of here. Yeah, hit that again. All right. I was doing that in rear wheel drive only too. Yeah, yeah. Jump in. Alright. Actually, I'm gonna hang in the back seat. We'll see. Oh, she stinks. Oh, yeah, she's stinky. Okay, so the door, as long as it doesn't fold back so much, right? That's... Yeah, well, those straps are supposed to keep it from going back. But oh, really we have the, the first, This the seal's coming off, or is it supposed to. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's coming the out. It's coming out, yeah. Alright, so we'll get it. Good. Which is nice. Very A lot open. better. It's not like, you know, in a cop car where you're gonna have like a thing. Yeah, no, seat. we're like. Or even you know, in the Razor. Like in the Razor, it's harder to even see. Oh yeah, for like the tours, it's yeah, gonna be it's awesome. Really good. Really close quarters, we can talk really well. It's quiet, like super quiet in here. Even with the windows open. I haven't had no rubbing. I saw another deer that went that way. They're all over the place. Yeah. Man, okay, so this is what it looks like. Esta torado. Okay, wrong side for me. Seat belt stuck. Go to. Anyways, 
Good stuff. The back seat is awesome. These door handles, oh, these things are so interesting. Which button? Yeah, at first you wouldn't, people won't know until you tell them. They're like, how do you get out of here? How do you get out? You don't. Oh yeah, all the seals need a little pushing. Yeah, back to the seal, the first failure of the new machine. First failure. <laughs> oh yeah, you're gonna have to figure that shit. <laughs> so you see some rubs here. We got a little bit of mud. Uh, Was it on the left? No, it was on this side here, yeah. It was almost like a, like a crunch, like a, like a Here, <laughs> oh, you gotta do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't think it was a, it was a rub, though. It was more like a mechanical, like a, like a binding of this spring compressing, maybe. Or like a sway bar or something. Or a sway bar, maybe just because it's all so muted. Yeah. So your preload, preload's on the lowest setting right now. Yeah. Well, yeah, I would turn that, I mean, just for sake, you're going to turn that up, probably in the, put it in the middle, put it in like one up or two up. One up or two up. Just, and then you go retest. Yeah. All right, what is the next thing? Missing a bolt. Obviously, it either got lost or didn't get put in or who knows, it's just a little. It doesn't have an, is, how strong is this stuff? Would you see marks from the bolt? If there was ever there, it doesn't look, well, it's pretty strong. It's all like embossed in there. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't be able to tell. And it's a, it's a Torx. It's like a twenty-five it's a Torx. Torx twenty-five. All right, so like seals a and a missing bolt. Yeah, the gasket and the missing bolt. Is that what it is? Oh yeah, just that one there. Well, let's see this guy. Yeah, that one definitely has it. it looks kind of. Oh, it's, it's in there. Funny the camo thing there. Oh yeah, it's a little bit it's, of a, That's their signature camo. It's a squished bug. That's Polaris Pursuit camo. Oh. 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 Oh look, there's a battery charging thing right on here. A trickle so if charger? You lift that up. Would you pull? pull? No, it's hooked. Oh, it's hooked. Okay. You pull it. You oh, I see. It. Yours doesn't go that way. Oh, maybe well, maybe oh, look, it does. Look at the big battery in there. It's like a car battery. Yeah, it should, yeah. as it should be. You got the fuel tank underneath there. And then your fuel pump access, right? Yeah. That's what that looks. Routing and then the back and so clean. Make sure your terminals are nice and tight. Well, this is covered up, but. And then this one, this one's loose, but. I'd say it flips forward. There's hooks on the front here. Yeah, right here. Oh, yeah, dude. You got a little storage spot for some gloves and stuff. And a drain. And this comes out. Oh, pull that out. I gotta pull the other one out first. What do you mean? No, no, no. It's just. Yeah, this one comes out and then that one comes out. Man, access. Access to your fuel pump, your if only, fuel tank. If only RVs oh, were this good. box right here. Open up the fuse. Is, is it... This must be a power point here. Oh, I see. It's got two clicks. Doing your uh, ECU upgrades. Wow. Oh, yeah. Well, what is this? Oh, this is just how it the, bolts. That's how the plug for the fat there. Oh, yeah. And then the backing. It's just bolted on. Yeah, it's, just, it's probably just a lift up or bolt out sort of thing. Yeah. And there's another plug back here. Man, what a cool car. Very cool car. But you could definitely put like a handgun under there or whatever. Yeah, if we can legally have them like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, you could definitely put... Uh... And then what do we got underneath the front ones here? So this flips up. So we got storage under here. And, and access. we got access. All oh, the heaters and the drivetrain. Look at the space in there. There's a big, there's a big something underneath the driver's one too. And the drain. Man, this documentary just keeps getting better. It's getting better. Maybe this whole chair comes forward. Okay, it pivots on there it is. the front there's a again. Handle back there. Oh. Look at that big deep box. Oh wow, the storage is incredible. Yeah, that's a great storage spot. And then here's like an access to foam so it dries. Oh yeah. Man, Polaris really hit this one out of the ballpark. Mm-hmm. Nice little plugs. Well, this is for the seatbelt safety, so I'll bypass that. I'll just cut that and hook it together and bypass that so I don't need to wear a seatbelt. Is it just need to be looped, probably? Yeah, just yeah. looped together. Just yeah. wire them together, like like a kickstand on oh, a... Oh, this is what they're talking about. So you have it up in the five-gallon pail fit seat. They've got it shaped on the floor. Oh, yeah, to hold to it. To hold the five-gallon pail. Not that it probably would, but it's kind of funny that they embossed it in there. So if you had just a couple of passengers or young ones you're like hey you guys are in the back or I'm, you're just working on the farm by yourself you're carrying your stuff around yeah suicide doors yeah oh yeah and then 
and the doors, the doors all have storage in the doors as well for each passenger. That's, there's, there's a lot of storage on this one, accessible and hidden. It's really cool. It's like a little RV. I like it a lot. You just get a little tent hanging off the back. You get the truck camper tent. You get the tent that goes on the roof. You know how they do it on trucks? Yeah. <laughs> and then you got your sleeping quarters. That's perfect. Well, it'd be cold, but. See, like, I can put my bag and gloves right into that little storage spot there. I wonder if I could sleep across the bench in any short. capacity. You know what you could do is put a rooftop tent on top of there, though. Well, I know, but you're going to want the Ooh, heater going all night in the snow. But oh. ideally, you know, had to sleep. if you had to like get a little rest. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just like it's like as wide as a full truck. Yeah, it's pretty much the same as a truck. Know, right? if, you're, if you're Megan Griffith, you'd be sleeping back here full time. <laughs> <laughs> Why Megan Griffith? Because she sleeps in her truck when she dirt bikes. Oh, okay. Like, a lot. Okay. Ever since I've known her, like 10 years ago, she did. She's always done. And she did it in the little Mazda trucks back in the day, you know. That's funny. That's, when, that's the advantage of being 5'6". Five, 5'6". Six. Five, six. <laughs> All right. All right, well, I should probably get back to real life. Get back to your work. <laughs> get back to my work. What was I doing? I was... I you were buying a motorcycle. Yeah, maybe I should go buy a motorcycle. That and I was researching parts for said motorcycles yeah. and watching videos and trying to find all the information. I, don't understand why this is such a problem. I need to go get a new camera too. I need to get a new helmet camera for dirt biking. Yeah, yeah or, or and maybe there's some other products we could research that are coming out that are I decent. Need Just need for dirt biking guys, I really need that image stabilization, the full hyper smooth effect because if you guys watched my Moab video, it sucks. <laughs> not the video. The video doesn't suck. The footage. The sucks. editing was good. The, yeah. the content was good, but the quality of the content on video was very troublesome. Yeah. Okay. Oh! It's a hard hit. It's too bumpy, your head is shaking around. Versus street bike racing, it's pretty doable. Here we go guys, RZR Turbo 1000, in front of me and my 450. Moab, send, trail, style. It's poison spider. As long as I don't fall, I can stick with him. Up shift. There's some rocks up here. You gotta watch out for but right here. Woo! Caught in the middle of the road a little one second time. Don't be so scared. Woo! Whoa! Shit! I'm losing him. So need to figure out, you know, and then Q Man. He's been having fun with the 360 cams, but sure, again, I broke it. I broke it. it twice. Yeah, so that's a problem with the 360 cam is that it's not waterproof. Yeah, anyways guys, so this is part whatever of the Polaris Ranger North Star. Yeah, it's heading towards the north. North Star. Weird. I'll have to ask them what that's for. Yeah, it's like a little key. What's that about? It's got in and out. The remote on in the dash goes on the dash. Oh, the, the remote is for the winch. Oh, okay. So instead of buying the little fifteen dollar attachment to bypass your seatbelt, you can just cut off the seatbelt factory piece. And you just wire these two wires together, just like we're going to do right now, quickly and easily. Just strip them, and basically all you're doing is just closing the circuit. So that way your 
machine won't go into limp mode. Because your seatbelt's not on. Because your seatbelt's not on. Did you have to do this on the other one too? I've done this on all of my machines, yes. Yeah, they all have this They all seat have belt. this seatbelt safety feature. And especially if you're putting in aftermarket harnesses, there's very few harness companies that actually will provide you with a plug connection so that you can keep your factory alarm for that. So I just quickly just put it together. Oh, so what's happening? I'm just remounting the uh, winch control switch or the wireless wireless controller for the winch. Yeah. I didn't like where it was at. That's where it was PDI'd right there. Yeah, not my favorite spot, but yeah. I wanted a little bit out of my face. Yeah, plus you're gonna have your dash screen there. Yeah, once the ride command comes, then that'll take up the spot, so. How do you know if it's on? Kind of like a woman. How do you know? Yeah, I'm gonna get your key on, maybe? What's going on, Marcel? <laughs> do a little river crossing here. That's right. Only it was that simple. Turn the key on? For a woman? Yeah. <laughs> Turn the key on and she's ready. Well, not this one. <laughs> troubles, troubles. It doesn't even feel like there's a battery in there. There's no... PDI, PDI. <laughs> also, what's your new location? Put it up there. Oh, yeah. Right up here. Let's see how it works. Much better spot. Okay, so... Yeah, now that There's got to be an on switch, maybe. Oh, it should be this this cylinder, right? And it has this on switch here. Hold it down. Like All right, let's pause the video. Failure. Eye protection ready. All right, here we go. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that. <laughs> Got me off guard a little bit. <laughs> You've never shot one of those. No. Phillips head screwdriver. Yeah, we're gonna see if it's got some if I can. little see, watch it's battery. Got a stupid little watch battery in it, or if it's got a normal battery in it. Oh look. For the unveiling. Yeah. Oh. Of course Q-Man dropped a screw. So find one of those. Oh shit. There's no, there's got, did you look past the bot, like actual access for a there's battery? There's a battery right there. There's one in there? Yeah, see it right there? That's so you're going to have to make a call. Yeah. And hopefully you can find that uh, lost uh, screw on the ground. Yeah. Missing screw. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> As we say it in like quiet voices. It might run away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It might run away. Missing screw. Kind of like a missing ratchet. Oh, that's right. I'm missing a Seattle tool from yesterday. You're still missing it. I can't believe it. How do I lose an entire ratchet? Not just the ratchet, but it has an extension on it, which makes it... Everything? It makes a shape to it. It's not skinny with an extension. It becomes like an L. L-shaped. Like a ratchet with an extension and a socket? You lost the whole thing? No, no socket. Just the extension. And on the wrench. Ratchet. Okay, so... What does this thing say? That's just your free spool. Okay, yeah. Uh, neutral, whatever it has on there. High speed, low speed, no speed. It's so tight I can't, I can't release it anyway. So. And then yeah. Strange. Oh well. That sucks. Well, at least you're not stuck right now. Yeah, but what if I was? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> what did you aim at? The guacamole. Oh, okay. Let's go have a look then. That's why you do your own PDI at home. <laughs> oh, look. The light came on. Oh, you fixed it. How? I don't know. What the hell did you do? You, oh, is it because you took it apart and blew on it? That was really insane. Oh, you got lots in that one. Kaboom. Oh, yeah. It's even oh, titled Kaboom. Hey, okay. I don't even think I could do it. A little too, a little too much. I have a little tiny one and a big one. Yeah. Just put both bags yeah. together. No, you gotta hold the switch down longer. The, the on switch? The on switch, you gotta hold it down until the red light comes on. Well, I could have told you that. 
this cylinder, right? And it has this on switch here. Hold it down. I was actually thinking that. I was like, how long are you holding the button down for? That's a long time. That's like a five second hold. One, two, three, three second hold. Oh yeah, and it'll red light. Yeah. All right. All right, it works. Well, let's see what we can pull. Oh, uh, no, I don't want to pull anything. Pull That's those wheels. Drag those wheels out of here. Drag the wheels out of here. Drag the RS1. <laughs> now, let's see, will it work with the machine off? It should. It should be just direct wired to the battery, right? No. Well, what if the machine doesn't run? It's not. Maybe there's a bypass for that. So at least have to have the switch, maybe? Yeah. Okay, you just have to have the lights on. You can do a very good job of winding this in, I'll tell you that. Here, you want to hold this end and I'll wind it in nice and straight down there? All right, let's see this tug of war here, huh? No! Two things of Tannerite. Oh! <laughs> I could that feel awesome. that, like, the, the whip and bang. <laughs> that was pretty sweet. Holy shit, dude. Oh, oh man, the ice bucket is gone. No! <laughs> How are you, Marcel? How strong are you? My Sanooks are all, or they lost all my tread. Oh! You got it. Hmm? I could put that one on there, this cable choker, cable hook stopper. Oh, I see. see it's just twice as thick as the stock one. So you don't jam it in as much? Yeah, it's got a little bit more bounce so that we pull up tight against there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe one day. Okay guys, I am officially going back to work on something. And so if you guys learned something from my videos or from Q-Man or about the North Star and you want to support the channel and the videos, get on my Patreon channel. That's patreon.com forward slash Ernie Racing or just paypal.me forward slash Ernie Racing. So send me an email if you have any questions and want to support. Ernie Racing at gmail.com. My name is Marcel Ernie, pro superbike racer. Nice. Gonna try to go for me. That last corner. Shit. Or right here. Got an inside pass line. Inside, but get, get on the throttle. Here we go. You fucking asshole!
<laughs> Put your e-brake on. She's a rock and no e-brake. Yeah. <laughs> so I kept just kept bumping because I wasn't sure where I was in position once. All that weight on that little pin in the tranny. Yep. <laughs> on a big tranny. <laughs> yeah. The D-Max tranny. Is that what you call it? <laughs> Dirty <Yeah>. diesel. <laughs> All right, all right. What's next? Time to go hunting. There's those squeaks. <laughs> They're almost there, six inches. And the left touches now. The right's gonna fall in, you're on your body work now a little bit. And you just gotta give a little gas and suck the rear up. There you go. Oh, this will be interesting. You're gonna just drop it down. Drop it down yeah. Real slow if you wanna save a big bang. It might skid on the skid plate back. No, oh. Tippy toe. Oh, there's on the frame. Nice. Buddy number two. Just wheelie it. And it just floors it. That'd be <laughs> rear wheel drive. Can't get the front end off the ground. There's the front right wheel goes really articulates down there. It's shorter, see he didn't scrape the Sidebar, and then the wheels are really far back in the Yamaha here. It's kind of like a buggy. Oh, oh yeah, there's the back frame. Turn left. Don't get the frame in the back. Yeah, same as everybody. This is the back of the the box touches and holds. Now here we go. The stock Polaris RCR 1000, 2016, I believe. Oh, there's the. Body, yeah. He went at it straight, so it's gonna drop in faster. Oh, he doesn't have any protection for his exhaust. 